Today we're going to go through a quick little tutorial about how to take your baby butterfly bent leg out to your extended butterfly. I've had a few questions on that. Um, a lot of people get comfortable with the bent leg version, but they're not able to find the balance when they extend out to the full version. Um, to me personally, I probably use the baby butterfly, the bent leg version more often, um, but whatever your personal preference is. One of the biggest things balance wise, um, if your arms are too far apart when you go into the butterfly, you're gonna have a really hard time controlling that rotation that tends to happen when we open the leg. Um, if you have not done the, ben, the baby butterfly version, look back at my tutorials. I have a tutorial that goes through the apprentice to butterfly and the proper shoulder engagement alignment with that. Make sure you're comfortable with that first before you take it to this extended version, okay? So for the extended version, um, one of the biggest reasons I find, um, actually two of the biggest reasons I find why people have a hard time um, finding their uh, comfort with it is A, arms are too far apart, and B, when they open that leg, um, they open it straight out or not even quite straight. Think instead about when you take that leg back, crossing it, okay? Our tendency in all pull moves is we tend to lean towards our exit. So what happens is we don't fully commit to a square or an exaggerated square split, uh, or I'm sorry, a, a cross square split. Um, actually, it's not even square, but that cross. We tend to lean towards our exit just in case we need to bail. Whether you're consciously thinking or not, it's there. Same thing happens when people start on handsprings. So when you release that back leg, you really think about engaging your glutes, your butt, and reaching across, okay? So if I start with the baby butterfly, I'm here, okay? When I go to open that leg, you can straighten this one first or keep it bent. I'm gonna externally rotate so my heel catches the pole and then slowly let it come away. I don't want my leg over here, I want it over here. Okay, so where you hook. When I'm at the knee, it makes sense for a lot of people. As I extend out, if I keep my legs straight, I feel like I'm gonna slide right off the pole. So think about externally rotating your leg so that little divot right behind your heel hooks on the pole, okay? Just like when we do a climb. First leg here, your second leg, you think about bringing your heel to the front of the pole, okay? So hand position. Um, if you're not sure on that, because like I go through my initial tutorial on the apprentice to butterfly, this hand should be about face level if you're going apprentice into it. Your bottom arm, elbow should be straight but not locked out. Engagement of your bottom arm, also very important. Think about pressing your armpit to the pole. So the leg starts bent. As you release, turn the knee out so that that heel catches, okay? Um, if the extended butterfly is new to you, I would definitely recommend starting on static before you take it to spin because the spin will most likely throw you off. Um, there's a lot of pull moves. I don't feel much of a difference between the spin and the static. With this, this is one that the spin can make you feel like you're coming out of it more, okay? So let's look at it again from another angle. Prentice, hook into your baby, okay? From here, turn the knee out as I extend away and I'm crossing my body with this leg, this back leg, okay? You can bring it back in to bring it out, okay? So, arm placement, make sure they're not too far apart. Leg, back leg, as it extends, cross your body. Inside leg, closest to the pole, externally rotate, think about turning your knee out and hook your heel. Try those three things out. Try adding those in. See if that makes a difference with your butterfly. If you're still having trouble, feel free to uh, place your questions below. If you have any questions, comments, I'd love to hear them. I will help in any way that I can. Um, if you have any requests for future tutorials, please leave those in the comments below as well. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please share it with a friend, subscribe to my channel so I can continue to bring you even more tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.